So when people talk about Call of Duty, there are many, many, many different things you can think of. You can think of epic campaigns. You can think of FaZe Clan. You can think of people snoring in Adderall. You can think of war crimes committed. All of that is great stuff to think of when you think of Call of Duty. But there's one thing that most people tend to think of, and that is trick shotting, okay? So I've always wondered about, like, the science behind trick shotting, you know? Like, for example, how long does it take to hit a trick shot? How long does it take to hit an end of the game trick shot? Just, you know, interesting stuff like that. So, you know, since I have time to waste, I decided to hop into a game, of course, on Black Ops 4. I'll, I'll explain all that later. But I decided to hop into a game and figure it out. So I'm doing this on Black Ops 4. Why might you ask? Well, first off, Modern Warfare sucks. I'm going to be completely honest here. Warzone's the only, like, saving grace of it. Um, Modern Warfare sucks, okay? I don't have any older Call of Duty games. And this has a map that's been in every Black Ops game, okay? A continuation map, which is Nuketown, which is why I'm doing it on Nuketown, okay? So that's why I'm doing that. I'm playing against bots. But first off, we also have to describe what a trick shot is. So, it depends, okay? It could just be a simple jump out no scope. Or, you know, it could be a jump out knife, back to the sniper, quick scope, whatever. So for the basics here, I've decided to go with the idea that a trick shot is jumping. 360 no scope See So I'll be counting all of my attempts on this and we'll find out just how difficult it is to truly hit a trick shot Yeah, this is also my official Phase 5 entry. Um, ignore the other videos that I might have put out. But, uh, yeah. Okay, then. Oh, get no scope. 